just, I did, I didn't want to. I didn't, I didn't want to. Uh, but now I'm going to. What up, y'all? This is your boy, Fat Man DD1. It's been a minute, and, and and you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Just by the title, just by the color of the room, you know what it is. This is a not holding back series. We are trying to go in, and we're not holding back on it. So, and you know, just by the title, just by the look of this, we're going to talk about, yeah, the raw toy situation. But first, let me talk about the Christopher Sabat thing, because that kind of irked me a little bit, because... It, it's it's as, as I, I've been a part of the anime community, the nerd community, gaming community, and I am the best analytical person out there because when it comes to me, I'm analyzing people on one end to another to another to another, which means I've been a part of these communities. I've seen how people act, I've seen how people move, I've seen how people do their things, and they're just like, all right, there there are some there are some things. Christopher Savitt had the balls to have a private text with somebody and call people autistic. And, no offense to him, I have an autistic brother, but um, he called regular people of the community autistic, which kind of infuriated me a little bit. I'm like, nigga, who the fuck are you? Uh, and that kind of irked me, because you're, you're calling the entire fan base autistic? Alright, All right, I'm gonna I'm let that slide. But the one thing it comes back to is, where do you get off disrespecting people that are part of the community as Dragon Ball? You kind of owe it to fans and you owe it to people. Yeah, they're fighting and arguing with you over the beef that you have with fucking Brawly voice actor Vic Miana. And this anime gate is really showing us what these voice actors are all about. I'm gonna be dead ass with you. I don't give a rat's hiney about what's happening the most part. Because I wanna make sure a man doesn't get doesn't get his whole fucking career twenty years in his career thrown the fuck away. Because people are acting stupid and saying shit. And, excuse me, Christopher Sabat, you may not watch my videos. But what I have to say is the truth, and I hope you listen. Watch your fucking mouth and watch who you disrespect. The same thing I said to Taika Waititi, the same thing I said to a, an, an actor in the new Joker movie. Do your fucking job, keep your fucking comments to yourself, and watch who you talk to. Because certain people may not like the shit that you say. They may put it out on the internet and they may watch the backlash come for your neck. Because it's very shameful. Just like Captain Marvel Brie Larson when she disrespected people of the media that wanted to be more enlightened in the movie, that wanted to talk about the movie, share with others. And now it came to Taika Waititi disrespecting people of that are part of the fan culture that love Thor. And he's like, you don't know what you love until I give it to you. Like, nigga, what are you talking about? Like, stop trolling fans. Stop doing shit like that and just give us a movie. Be quiet and let the work show for itself. Christopher Sabat, watch who you talk to because they will not like what you say about people that are part of a community and that basically pay your fucking rent, my G. Watch your mouth. And as simple as that because you shouldn't call a fan base of people autistic. That's very disrespectful. And I'm not even saying disrespectful to autistic people. You're calling people who are cool in the mind, everything's up right here, and they're doing their thing to be called autistic. People that support you and support your career. Now I know what everybody says they like the original voice actor of Vegeta, the Ocean Dub. So let's just have that straight. And that, I'm going to leave there for everybody with the whole Christopher Sabat thing. He should never say what he said. Doesn't matter if your conversation was in private, you still said it, you still confirmed it, you still disrespectful. Jamie Marchi wanting to chop Vic Miana's junk off don't mean shit in his head. But what you say is disrespectful because you are supposed to be a man of the people. You and Sean Schimmel, and look what you're doing, being a bunch of cowards. Moving on. When it comes to everything Ron Soy Boy Joy, you have to really look at it and say, what the fuck is going on? Look, I really went Rick, Rick, Nick Ricada dropping this. So right down in the description below, Nick Ricada is the first one to kind of like, get some information on this somebody sent him this info it's basically an affidavit uh basically a breakdown of a courtroom uh that has ron soy's i think his ex-wife his first or his second ex-wife basically saying the man abused and hit me when we were together and what's crazy about that is ron soy boy 
the man with Monica Riel boy is is an abuser. He hit his wife with a remote, and when she didn't come pick him up about or pick him up to do something, he threatened her, dogs, children, and threatened a judge. This man is on a fucking path to destruction. I never in my life would I really care about this type of situation, but people are like, this leads back to Vic Miana. Everyone was like, hey, is Monica okay? Because Ron doesn't seem right in the fucking head after reading the shit that's out there. Because right now, I think even Hero Hero A, if you watch his video, he goes through it as well. And it's pretty scary that this is his mind. And Ron and Monica said Ronica. Monica confirms this. She confirms this shit on Twitter. Uh, she blocked me. The fuck, fuck you, lady. She blocked me, and so did Ron. Still eat a dick. And she basically says, yeah, but you don't know his ex-wife. Like, you don't know the whole truth, and you shouldn't believe her. Whoa, 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 whoa. Weren't you the same lady saying believe victims when you said Vic was doing some shit to you? Look, this whole anime gate has been blown wide open. We're being shown voice actors for who they really are. And we're being shown voice actors' spouses for who they really are. I'm going to be honest. I don't know if Ron and... Monica are married or they've just been dating for a long fucking time. I don't care. I don't care about his fucking past. But what I do care about is how does this lead back to Vic? Some people have speculated that maybe Ron manipulated Monica into kind of reversing the roles and trying to say Vic did this and this and such and such to her. Getting in her mind. I mean, she may have a feeble mind. She may be weak minded. Who knows? Maybe Ron... Uh, after doing all those years of psychiatry and therapy, he may have learned something. Because when you watch his deposition videos, you can kind of see the ticks and, and clicks in his head. And when you read what his wife kind of writes about him and his description, you, you get that, yo, the court case on his wife's info, and you look at Ron and you kind of match, you know, his deposition, the way he talks, moves, and, and he's thinking... The brain control is there. Like, he, the brainwashing is there. Like, whatever fucking therapy he went to, it, it brainwashed him. It changed his cognitive thinking to look at Vic as an offender and an assaulter. And that's dangerous. Like, highly, highly dangerous. When it comes down to it, I don't want anybody saying, Oh, but fat man, don't you, why do you care about Ron? I don't. I don't even care about Monica. Some people are like, is she okay? I'm like, yeah, she probably is okay. Because the guy hasn't hit her, we don't know. Hasn't abused her, we don't know. She's saying these things. But look, Monica's like, why does everybody care about my safety now? No one cared about it when it was being threatened. And when it was, uh, I was getting threatened with guns. I'm like, well, who threatened you to shoot you? Lady, no one threatened to shoot you. Like, that's extra. Nobody, everybody wants a man not to be sent to jail or accused of touching people when he didn't even do that. And nobody wants to be accused of shit. People say believe victims. You said that. Now, you're the victim. We don't believe you for being a victim because there's no evidence. But Ron's wife, who is a victim, brings out all of the things that you don't have, which is evidence. You may have a story, but she has a better explanation story. And she has people that can back up her story. And she has a court deposition. She has a, she has a court explanation of everything that's happened. But she probably even has bruises on her body that can prove this. But when it came to Vic, there's no breakdown. There's no explanations. There's nothing. It all comes back to one person, Vic. We, I wouldn't be in Monica's business. I wouldn't be in Ron's business. I wouldn't even want to be talking about this. But when it comes down to it, you really get the psyche of these people. You get to see the relationship that she has with this man. Because, hey, I don't know their business after he got therapy. He may be okay. He may be, you know, get triggered by certain things. That, you know, his cognitive thinking has been changed by his therapy. Well, let's just be real with that. But, who knows if Ron hasn't snapped in those bursts of anger. Who knows if Ron hasn't cracked, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people have said it. Ron's kind of this, that, this, that. And they've been fucking proven right. Look, from one corner of the world to the other, these people are fucking extra. But they're also still trying to ruin a man's life. 
when it comes back to Vic Mignogna, it rolls back in the same way. We know who these people are now. We know who Christopher Sabat is. We know who Monica and Ron is. We know what Jamie Marchi stands for and wants to happen to Vic. We know what Dominique Sky is doing. But we really need to pinpoint why they don't fuck with Vic. Everything leads back to Vic. And that's the dangerous part is the man is still waiting to get work. After this is all said, if, if, if this entire year goes by and we go into 2020 and February comes around and nothing's changed and we're still talking about this, I'm going to be upset. Because I said it before. I said in my last video, I would not keep talking about this shit unless it ended and it won and it didn't and it's still fucking going. I can put my man, I can really, I'm, I feel sorry for Vic. Because if I was a man's shoes, I would be going rampaging. I would be cursing, fucking yelling. I would be tight. But then again, I talked with people at the meetup. And they were like, yo, if you did that, you would look more like a, a bad guy. True. I wouldn't be able to have the intensity this man has to stand up and say some shit. Because at the end of it, you don't know what the fuck you're doing. At the end of it, you really got to step back and say, yo, word. They, they're, really trying to, they're really trying to fuck me up here. They're really trying to catch me slipping. They're really trying to take my whole career. Because in the beginning, it was about money. It was about money. In the beginning, it was about money. Now, because everybody from that Dragon Ball movie, the actors, the cast, in English, got paid money. Goku, Sean Chemmel, Vegeta, Christopher Sabat, and Vic Miana. Those three names on those are the main three on the front of the fucking cover of the posters and the movies they got money but what they don't want they don't want to give it to Vic and money became a problem and then rumors that were happening conventions for a long people say for a long time just came out of nowhere it's like are we not going to talk about Vic Mignogna and Mars girl brought up some shit then Monica Riel used it as a jumping off point and then Christopher Sabat said yeah and automatically Shit like that happens. I, I met Christopher Sabat one time at Anime NYC, the first Anime NYC, the first one. I was dressed as a teenage group. And I shook this man's hand. And you know what I, what I realized about him and uh, Vic? Vic has a more powerful, dominant handshake. I shook Christopher Sabat's hand, wasn't dominant, wasn't powerful, and he didn't make you feel like a bitch. <laughs> I feel like I have to overpower the man, which is very, very critical there. But moving on, I don't trust these people. And even though I believe Vic didn't do shit, we still need some more proof and evidence to say, yo, look, man, this is innocent. Everybody needs to chill. How far can the web keep moving? I don't know. Ron's past and his history and what he's done, it reflects on the man. It shows on the man. Now, Sean Schimmel saying some extra shit and over voiceovers and calling a Gohan a faggot has appeared. And that's kind of dangerous. So, right now, YouTube is not going to promote this. Uh, I am here to basically give you guys this. The Not Holding Back series is to basically not hold back and come at these people's necks and be honest and really find the truth because i'm not going to sit here and speculate all day and all day i probably have but i'm going to go in with a little syringe and dissect it bit by bit by bit and really go through it with you because at the end of it these people are fucked up they're ruining a man's career and we're finding out new things every single day almost every single day about these people so at the end of it when it does end, and I hope to God this ends, because I feel sorry for my man, Vic Miana. Because if this was me, put you, I swear, I don't think Christopher Sabat or Sean Shemo or Monica understands this. If this was reversed, if the roles were reversed, how would they be? If the roles were reversed, how would it be? I want to know. I want to, write in the comments section below. If the roles were reversed, what would Sabat, Monica, Marchi, Sabat, what will all the other voice actors be doing if all of the roles were reversed? Let me know. So, by the end of it, Ron Toy, you a fucking pussy. You can't do nothing about it. This is straight to you, my dog. You a bitch, nigga. Uh, Monica, you're with a bitch, nigga. Hope he ain't hitting you. 
automatically i don't want your downfall your death i just want you to really like look in your like heart of all hearts and stop being a giant fucking asshole christopher sabat this is for you sean Shemmel, you ain't really doing nothing but you out here doing some dumb shit so you gotta calm down uh jamie marchi is a bitch uh dominique sly is a hoe at the end of it at the end of it these people just need to chill the fuck out and Vic is the only dude sitting there like this, like, what am I gonna do about my career? That that's all he's doing. At, 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 at the at um the meetup in New York City, he was just I know mentally the man was like, yo, what am I gonna do? Like, what am I gonna do? Because they were head cracking the prices on the things to like have him sign. Like prices were pow, head crack, boy. Prices were head crack, boy. And that's straight up head crack. So it is a reason for that, but I'll get into that another time. What do you think about the whole Ryan Soye thing? Um, do you think Monica is just covering for him? Because she, she, she said everything is true. Like, yeah, but you don't know his wife. You shouldn't believe her. Believe a victim, Monica. You stupid. Aren't you a victim? S stupid. So at the end of it, let you let me know what's up. This is your boy Fat Man DD1. This is the Not Holding Back series. Thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like. <laughs> subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified um if you want more videos like this just leave a comment just say fat man keep talking about this and i will keep talking about this it seems like i have more time on my hands so i might keep talking about this from me to you mad love so, so remember never give up never surrender keep on grinding and let the truth always be known that is where it's from so peace and i'm out I hope this shit ends. Shit. Gambit on drum. Gambit on drum. You little niggas gonna stop you acting like my shit ain't the grill. My shit ain't the grill. Some of you niggas get your front teeth for grills. And I ain't talking about the contract. I ain't loving these fake hoes. Room smelling like eight switches. Room service like 2K. NBA, I'm ballin' nigga, all them niggas Fallin' like all them niggas Talkin' shit, I saw them niggas Now they daughter want a picture, rough ain't it? Fuck famous, yeah, niggas too real, yeah, got the most haters Wrote a story, so Stephen Curry How it feel to be golden? Why was I chosen? Honolay Bay with my bae, what can I say I did it?